Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing some DIY hygiene hacks. We're going to be making some DIY deodorant and some shampoo and trying out some whipped shave cream. So a lot of really fun things that don't actually take that long to make. Sometimes when you look at these, they seem like, oh my gosh, I would just rather go to the store. And for some of us, that's definitely the case. But if you want to make some of these at home, they're really kind of easy and they're really effective. Um, the first one I ended up loving and it's the DIY deodorant. It's relatively easy to make. I use 100% pure shea butter and, oh, Byron walked in my shot there, and then coconut oil. I'll put all the measurements below. You're gonna melt that on a double boiler on uh, medium heat, medium to low heat. Next, we're gonna thicken it up with some arrowroot and some baking powder. So this is the base of the deodorant, which was really easy to make, and then you can add whatever essential oils you like. I'm gonna add some grapefruit, lavender, and tea tree oil. I would say out of all of the essential oils, definitely add tea tree oil. Now, essential oils are really popular right now, but definitely do your own research when adding them to your products. Um, there are different brands and a variety of different options when choosing essential oils. I found this great little container at World Market for 99 cents and I got a few of them and I'm just adding the deodorant in there and I'm gonna let it solidify. Now I gotta be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect from this because I've never tried making a natural deodorant or a homemade deodorant before. If you follow my channel, you know I love to experiment with these types of things, but I was really, really impressed with this one for multiple reasons. A, it was really easy to make and it made quite a lot. And you take a popsicle stick and you just kind of scrape a little bit off the top and you warm it in your hands. At that point, it's gonna become like that coconut oil texture. Then you're gonna put it under your arms and then after a few minutes, it dries up and it actually really, really works. It keeps your underarms smelling really good and keeps them really dry, so that's definitely something I'm gonna be making more. I wanted to try another do-it-yourself shampoo, so I'm making a DIY coconut almond shampoo. I'm just dissolving some honey in some warm water and also a little bit of coconut oil. I'm adding some almond castile soap and some coconut milk and just mixing it together. It's more of a consistency of a rinse rather than a traditional shampoo. So I like this recipe as a kind of summer rinse, especially since we've got the coconut almond smell and it really does kind of clean your hair and make your hair smell good, but it doesn't have that same feeling as a shampoo. Next we're moving on to some DIY whipped shave cream, which I loved this. It had such a great texture and consistency. Again, I'm using coconut oil and shea butter. So these are ingredients I kind of keep around because most of the DIY products I do make contain these ingredients. And I do love coconut oil just by itself for my body, my hair, but by mixing them together and by adding different ingredients, you can create your own beauty products pretty easily. So over a double boiler, again, I'm melting those two together then adding some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator and let that cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to whip it up. Now you can whip it with a hand mixer. Now the reason you wanna whip it up is because very similar to like an icing or something, you wanna add air in there so that it has that texture. And that texture is really important for a shave cream because it adds a barrier when you're shaving your legs so that you don't cut yourself. So I'm gonna add a little bit of eucalyptus after I've had a chance to whip it a bit, and then I'm gonna whip it on high so that it gets really, really nice and whipped up. Again, you can use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid or whatever you have, um, but ideally you do wanna add that air for this um, recipe because you wanna get that really whipped texture. It has like a whipped cream, really buttery, like a very rich, body butter that you could buy at a store. And you're using a lot of these same ingredients for most of the DIY beauty products, but the process is a little bit different for each of them so that you have a different effect. But I did really like this. It was a very thick shave cream. That is the one thing about this that it was. You don't really need to use 
any sort of lotion after you get out of the shower after using this because it does leave your legs feeling really nice and moisturized. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this DIY hygiene hacks video and that you try some of them out and let me know how they work for you. If you like my channel, subscribe and you can check out my last two videos by clicking on them. I also have another channel and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.